Hello and welcome to Uzbekistan, which means we are below Russia, slightly south of Kazakhstan and north of Turkmenistan, the, the hub of the Silk Road. And in amongst this sea of white Chevrolets, I have found a few classy cars lurking in the back street. So I thought I'd like to show you what I found. By far, the most common classic car I saw were Ladas. They seem to be everywhere. There are a lot of these very early models with the round headlamps and the small rear light clusters. And also, most majority of them were saloon cars, but as you can see here, there was at least one estate that I spotted. There were also a lot of these Ladas with these round headlamp fronts, which apparently was a sort of home market sort of design. Originally, it was quite chromed up, but as the years went on, they sort of reduced the amount of chrome, which is why you see so much black on the front. One thing I noticed with these classic cars is quite a lot of them aren't prized possessions. They are worked hard, as you can see with the roof rack on this particular example. The last model of the original Lada was the Arriva, and I did spot this one on someone's driveway, always recognisable with that big chunky grill. The follow-on to the original Lada was, of course, the, the Samara, and here's a good example, side of the road, fair bit of wear and tear, but the common uh, hatchback version we saw in the UK but I did also see some saloon versions. Our saloons are very popular in Uzbekistan. And I don't remember we, if we got this in the UK. I could, of course, be wrong. Now, here's a larder you are unlike to have seen before. It's a Priora. And these were produced between 2007 and 2018. It had a four-cylinder 1.6 or 1.8 litre engine. And apparently, they also did a coupe and long wheelbase version of these. And also, apparently had a pop at the World Touring Car Championship with these in 2009. Now, this picture leads us on nicely from Lada's to Mosvich's, which was the next most popular car that I saw. These were imported, I believe, for a short while into the UK, I think around about the 1970s. And they were sort of still you know, round and about. They were generally workhorses, as far as I could see. Uh, the particular model here is the Moskvich 408, and these were produced between 1964 and 1975. And as you can see, some of these are worked really hard. With the You see these giant pots on the roof of this one. Now, your upmarket car, if you were in the Soviet Union, was a Gaz 24 Volga. But as you can see, these are now being worked quite hard as sort of older classics. These were produced in various formats between 1970 and 1985. And originally, until the sort of 1980s, you had to get a special permit to buy one of these. These were the sort of privilege of the sportsmen, government officials, dancers, and so on. And the follow-on for this was the Gaz 31 series. And these seem to have been produced in a whole wave of, of different formats. Uh, but they were marketed between 1982 and 2009. This car I got almost by accident. I was taking pictures of something else and it came by. It was the only one I saw in the time I was there. It's a Zaz 968M, and this is an air-cooled rear-engine city car. It was built in Ukraine between 1979 and 1994. And after the collapse of the Soviet Union and the influx of sort of Fiestas and Polos, it was no competition to the Western cars, and production ceased shortly afterwards. Finally, a few odds and sods that I saw. This Mercedes, which I think was the forerunner to the E-Class, uh, apparently Mercedes are very, very rare in Uzbekistan, so I was quite lucky to catch this one. And also this Audi 100 five-door hatch. Again, Western cars are such a rarity over here, particularly ones from the 80s. And just this final little tidbit, this is a Dayu Tico. Now, they were produced in Uzbekistan, with deal Dayu did with the government, and apparently it's a basically a remodeled Suzuki Alto and it was the uh, forerunner to the Dayu Matiz which I'm sure you're all familiar with. Well I hope you enjoyed that there was a third, certainly a few surprises that I didn't expect to find here so please if you like this kind of content please hit that like and subscribe and join us next time.